The devastation was the worst in a lifetime for many people across a wide swath of Sri Lanka, Indonesia and Thailand. It rained non-stop for three days. We heard the warnings of flooding, she said, but we didn't expect the water to go this high. That was one deadly problem. The storms were slow moving. Torrential rain lingered for days, triggering landslides. And the total amount of rain was unprecedented, influenced by a warming climate. Basically, the heavy rain associated with such cyclones is becoming more intense as the climate warms. The World Weather Attribution Group of 21 scientists report that once in a century storms like these could happen once every 30 years in Sri Lanka, in part because the Indian Ocean is tracking warmer. Flooding, expected during monsoon seasons, up to a meter, rose far beyond historical levels. In some areas, it was exceeding 14 to 15 feet over the land mass. So even reaching the second floor could not save sometimes the, the affected people. And they were vulnerable because intense deforestation means hillsides can't hold increased water. And floodplains are now urban centers. Millions of people have been temporarily displaced. We lost everything, including my son's tuk-tuk. We don't know where to go or what to do, she says. The takeaway forecast, say the scientists, is countries have to expect and adapt to more frequent and more intense rains as global temperatures rise. As we continue to burn fossil fuels, then the trend will continue. And the costs will rise too. Losses plus recovery in these disasters could top $10 billion. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Toronto.